This video explains how to replace an A values by the row means in a data frame using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create a data frame as you can see in lines two to four of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame called data is appearing at the top right. And we can print this data frame to the RStudio console by running line five of the code. And then you can see at the bottom that we have created a data frame that contains seven rows and the three columns x1, x2, and x3. And you can also see that the column x1 contains an A values in the third and the seventh rows. Now let's assume that we want to replace these NA values by the mean of the remaining columns. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 7 to 10. So in line 7 of the code, I'm first duplicating our input data frame because I also want to keep an original version of our data frame. So after running this line of code, a new data frame called data new is appearing at the top right. And then in the next step, I'm replacing the NA values in this data frame by the row means. And I'm doing that by using the isNA function. So with the isNA function, I'm subsetting our data frame column x1 to return only the values in which NAs are stored in the first column. And then I'm assigning to this the row means of the remaining columns and I'm doing that using the row means function. So after running lines eight and nine of the code, our data frame is updated and we can see that by printing the data frame once again to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 10 of the code. And then you can see that the NA values in the third and the seventh rows in the column X1 have been replaced by the mean values in the columns X2 and X3. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.